What's going on, everyone? As always, what you're supposed to do, place a cross on first, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's going on around you. Keep it on. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen and amen. You know what just came to my mind when I was praying? I told you when I do these videos, a lot of times it's like a voice in my head say, record now. Okay? I record now. So I'm recording now. And the words that popped up when I was praying was betrayal. You know, nobody likes to be betrayed. Nobody do. Nobody likes to be betrayed. It's like one of the most hurtful things that have ever happened. You know, if you were, if you were think about the Ten Commandments, a lot of it has to do with betrayal. No other gods before me. Worship no other gods. Betrayal. Adultery. Betrayal. Covetousness can lead to betrayal. False witness. Betrayal. Murder. That's betrayal. <laughs> but think about it. But betrayal, that word. Meditate on it. Nobody likes to be betrayed. Nobody likes to be used. Nobody likes to be taken advantage of. And you know, betrayal involves almost all those things. Betrayal, like this is imagine you got a close friend. And y'all been close friends forever. And then out of nowhere, you find that this friend has betrayed you. You know, Lucifer's fall was a fall of betrayal. God trusted him to be over the choir, <laughs> clothed him in good clothes, and did all these things for Satan. And he wanted to excel above him, so he plotted to do what? Betray him and take over the kingdom. And he lost. One thing about it, when you come up against God, you lose. You understand? You lose every time. When you come up against God's anointed and God's people who operate in his will, who are in his hands, I feel for you. I feel for me. If I come up against God's anointed, let's take David and Saul. Two anointed men to be king. And David was a loyal servant to Saul. You could be being betrayed by the king is even worse. Being betrayed by the king. Why was he being betrayed by the king? Because people started seeing something in David that the king hated. He was surpassing him. And he hated it. So he started to kill him. He started to betray him. He started to go against the grain. To go against what God wanted and planned for David to become king. After his replacement, for his replacement, for his disobedience. And, and David was hurt to the soul. He mourned for Saul when he died. He hated it. You know, he still loved him. You know, that's the thing about betrayal. Normally, betrayal involves normally people you care about or you try to look out for. Betrayal is deadly. It's a deadly game to play. Have you ever been cheated on before? I have. It hurts. It takes a while to get over things like that. Because it's acts of betrayal. You put your heart and soul into something. And then you're betrayed. You understand? Take Judas. Jesus walked and talked with Judas. For years. Taught him his ways. Taught him the way to go. Taught him more so than many others that were around him. He was one of the twelve. He was taught by the master to avoid disaster. And yet, after all that, after all that help, after all the assistance, after all the things he's seen in regards to Jesus, for a few measly books, few measly pieces of silver he betrayed 
the son of God. He said, it would be better for the man that betrayed the son of God that he would not been born. And sometimes in life, <laughs> you feel that way. When somebody betrays you, betrays you, like, why did I even owe this person? Lord have mercy. Betrayal. You know, and one thing you're going to realize as you grow as a Christian, I watched a movie uh, about Moses, the Ten Commandments, and something was told to Moses, this is not in the scripture, but he said, when you're in the front, all people see is your back. Some people are going to try to give you a lift from the back, and some people are going to try to stab you straight in it. When you start advancing and you start achieving success, favor from God, people are going to be out for you. But don't worry. Don't faint. Your people are going to betray you. They want to cast you down off your high horse that God put you on. But don't let pride destroy you too. Just because you're moving up. Just because you're getting the position, don't let pride destroy you. Because guess what? It will. Don't get the big head. Don't, don't let power consume you, Satan. Don't let power consume you. You understand? But the whole Bible is about a lot of acts of betrayal. 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 Samson. Betrayal. Wow. Samson was betrayed to the point where his eyes were plucked out I know some people he deserved it sleeping with that woman who deserves their eyes to be poked out for the strength of the Lord that he gave you to do a job and loving a woman that truly didn't love you that ended up setting you up in the end what was his sin love maybe but love's not a sin but loving the wrong person can lead you to disaster. And that's the truth, people. Nobody likes to be betrayed. You know. It's one of the worst feelings you can ever feel in your life. You know, I came up with a saying. I ain't going to even say I came up with I believe God came up with the same. Years ago, I was going through so much, so much pain and destruction and this and that and I was just crying out to the father and he said and I was like Lord I'm so tired of people using me and you know what the Lord told me they're not using you I am so a lot of times even though betrayal and things are going on just remember who's in control of your life even if people betray you just remember who's in control of your life the Bible says make your enemies your footstool the Bible says send so many things about your enemies about those that betray you those that come against you those that try to harm you those that try to dig pits for you those that he says numerous things about this don't worry during the whole process of being betrayed and being used by people just keep in mind, you are being used by the master. And being used by the master, you're going to cause people to hate you and despise you and want to use you and take advantage of you and betray you. You're going to be betrayed a lot in your life. Get used to it. The Bible said, be not friends with the world. Hmm. You know, I know this is going to sound real messed up, but I don't care. I don't have any friends. I don't believe in the term. I'm sociable. I love everybody. I try to. I care for everyone. But for our friendships, I don't have any. And I can say that with a clear face and a clear conscience. I don't have any friends. You know what I do every day? I'm going to tell you something about me. I get off work, 
I come to my house. I turn my music on. I pour my drinks. I take my bath. <laughs> I chill. And my phone hardly ever rings. And it's lonely. It's boring. But it's peaceful. You know, because I know as soon as I get out that comfort zone and I'm like, hey, let's start inviting company over. Hey, call this person. The, the more you people you let people in your the more people you let in your life. Get ready for problems to start arising. Get ready. It's okay to be lonely. You know, until God gives me that one, that wife that I've been praying for. Till he molds her, or she's already made for me, and till he fix her and puts her in my life. That's the only close friend I'm looking for. I'm just being real, and I ain't even looking for that. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> You understand? Because looking for it might lead you to be betrayed. <laughs> I'm very careful. I learned a lot of things through my life lessons. And I'm telling you, learn from your life lessons. Learn things. You understand? Don't have many friends. You understand? You know, David had many mighty men. And some of them were against him. And some of them were his right-hand men were against David. Some of his advisors turned on him. That's why God said, place not your trust in man. What's the biggest problem with being betrayed is people put too much trust in man and less trust in God. So betrayal is going to hurt a lot more when you do that. When you put too much love into people and less love into God. It's the truth, people. I'm telling you something. I'm trying to protect you from yourself. I'm trying to protect you from others. You understand? Be careful in this world. This world will chew you up and spit you out if you let it. You're going to have many enemies. You ain't going to have many friends. And like I said, I'm not telling you not to be sociable. You know, as a, as a follower of Christ, you're supposed to be friend to many. You do. You know what? One thing about being a friend to many does. Now listen, I'm going to break, I'm going to tell y'all something that you better write down on a piece of paper or you better soak it in your brain. Let me tell you something. When you don't have friends, watch this. You have many friends. Oh man, that's for, this is going to go over your head. When you don't have friends, you have many friends. Many times when I was alone and I would go out to a bar and I have a good time with a random stranger. Never see him again. And you know one thing about it, you're never let down. Hey, you want to go out with me? I got something to do. Go out by yourself. God always put somebody in there to be a friend in time of need. Do you hear what I'm saying? That was a fruit right there. I hope you got it. He'll put a friend in time of need. You don't have to look for a friend. Learn to entertain strangers. And another thing about having a bunch of friends, you have people that you start to put more trust in than others. Then you lead yourself to betrayal. You start trusting in people. You set yourself up to be betrayed. But you can't really be betrayed if you put your trust in God. Even if you are betrayed, it's not nothing that shocks you. It's not like, oh, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that they would do that to me. <laughs> believe it. It's going to happen a lot. And another thing, like I said, when you ain't got a specific friend, you don't play favorites. You look at everybody the same. Oh, y'all better take this fruit. Eat this fruit, please. Take it and eat it. 
You don't have no favorites. You can't show favoritism. I'm gonna look out for this person more than I'm looking out for this person because this person always looking out for me. You don't fall into the you scratch my back, I scratch yours category anymore. I know I could call them for help because they always help me. And then when they can't help you, now you feel betrayed because they ain't got it right then. Maybe they didn't help another friend out that they got. Now you're feeling jealous. I thought I was your close friend. Uh, well, I, I actually got more friends. That's what they tell you. I got other people that I look after too. Now you're feeling some type of way. <laughs> Wake up. You want to have a lot of friends? Have none. You want to have a lot of best friends? Have none. Because you got to understand something, man. Help comes in so many ways. You know, a lot of y'all blessings are being closed off. Because you're depending on the same people you've been up, been depending on for years. You're too too scared to go out and trust in a random act. <laughs> you're still depending on the same people to come through to say the day. And God's telling you, I got so many people coming through to say the day. But you gotta leave some of those betrayers alone. Some of those friends. Why you ain't where you need to be right now? Because you got too many betrayers. <laughs> betrayers. You trusted in too many people. You trusted in the person you've been knowing for years. And God's like, I've been watching over you before since you were born. I know, but the thoughts I have towards you, says the Lord. I know the plans. They don't. But you're leaning on them. Well, you should be leaning on me. Mm -hmm. This for somebody. I don't know who it's for. Hope you receive it. Hope you receive this message. It ain't hard to receive. You want to stop from being betrayed? Start trusting in God. You got to understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying you're not going to be betrayed. People will betray you. This world is against you. Says the Lord. The world is against you. If, if you are a follower of Christ, the world is against you. The world is designed to betray you. Because the, the world is designed to hate things that are not of God. And people that are not of God. People. People. Listen closely. Play this video over and over again. Not for likes. I could care less. Get the message. You understand? Get the message. Receive the message that's being told to you. That's why a lot of y'all stuck. Because there's so much negative energy, so much betrayal type energy surrounding you. Spiritual energy. That the good energy can't get in. I was talking about open doors and cleaning the house not too long ago. All this go hand in hand. And I realized something. When God has me speak, it's connected to something else. Or I'm connected to something else the next day. It is what it is. You know, people, I don't do this for likes. I know a lot of people don't like me. That's fine. I love them. I love them. I love my enemies. You understand? If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be as strong as I am right now. If it weren't for so many betrayals, I wouldn't be as strong as I am right now. And I'm telling you, let the Lord strengthen you. And I'm going to tell you again, it's not that people are betraying you and trying to hurt you and things like that. It's, it's bigger than that. Remember what I told you God told me. He's using you. So let them. Let them do what they do. It's going to serve your good. And if they change not from the error of their ways, it's going to lead to their downfall. Have a blessed day.